Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Techbit Solutions with a super quick stock market drop update. Right now, SQQQ is up 4.5%. The overall NASDAQ market is down over 1.5%. Why, why, why is the market still selling off? This is actually something that we talked about within our live trading session today. I actually think that today might be one of the first couple of days where the market actually begins to see a shift. So one of the main reasons that we began selling off is obviously the uncertainty with interest rates, the Federal Reserve taking in a more aggressive approach than uh, than originally expected. We've talked about that, right? Every report that was announced today and or reported today, check this out. Every single report came out better than expect, uh, ex expected, except for one, uh, which was the construction spending, which obvious, obviously in the grand scheme of things doesn't actually matter. But the um, overall manufacturing index, way better than expected, 52.8%. Expectation, 52%. Uh, here we have overall unit labor costs, and we are at 10.2%, and our expectation was at 10.7%. So again, cheaper than expected. SQQQ as of right now is still bullish. Now we can't fight the trend, right? One of the things that I announced about two days ago is that I'm gonna stop swing trading SQQQ. So for those that are unaware, SQQQ goes up when the NASDAQ market goes down and it's had an amazing rally. I'm so grateful for it because it's gapped up, well, after today, probably 45%. Uh, around 45 to 46% in the past couple of weeks of trading. The great thing about that is that, you know, now that it's gapped up so much, the risk is too high for me to want to continue to hold it up here. I don't mind day trading it, but I'm not going to hold it. But this now provides a great dip by opportunity, in my opinion, for the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ has sold off. That's why SQQQ is up and even something like TQQQ, right? It's still very early. Direction is not in our favor. And if you're trying to, you know, be a little bit more selective with your entry points, I would definitely still wait for confirmation. We're still getting rejected by that one hour, um, what's it called? One hour EMA. As you guys can see, every single time that we go and retest, we get rejected, retest, get rejected. So the next resistance that I'm going to be working towards is $28 a share. But if we break above that for TQQQ, I can easily see us to at least run up to the moving average, which is 16%. And if we return to previous highs, that's 39%. But again, like what is it that we are looking out for? So I wanted to explain to you guys now my shift of focus, right? No longer swing trading SQQQ, now only day trading it if I see direction to be in my favor. And now getting ready to buy the dip on quality companies and or swing trades that I see value and that I offer good, good ROI. And it's not because I don't think that the market can't continue to sell off because I know it can. And let me make sure that I, I say that very clearly. Yes, the market can continue to sell off, especially with the performance today. But why did the market sell off yesterday? Obviously, it was the last day of August. And just like the last day of July, there was a lot of buying pressure in the month of July because we were on track to have one of the best months since COVID, right? Or since 2021. And that's why we saw a lot of buying pressure on the last day. It was like a last minute rally. It's just, it's, it's headline momentum is what I like to call it. Yesterday, we had the opposite, right? I had a $26,000 gain on SQQQ yesterday. And the only thing that was really driving the market were the, was that headline momentum. You know, August was on track for a red month, right? For another loss of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. Surprise, surprise, more selling pressure. Today's September, right? We're at a new month and yeah, the selling pressure is somewhat continuing, but I'm ready for this transition. And I think it's better to prepare in advance than to be late to the rally, right? And that's exactly why I'm making this video is I want you guys to be aware of why we saw that selling pressure yesterday. I think that the market today will begin to show us that it's establishing signs of a support level and or it's beginning to at least not sell off as much as it has been at least for the past week. And that's exciting, right? Because it might not be a green day, but it will be progress and progress is all we need. Two main things. You need to look out for this up and coming Fed meeting where they will announce the interest rate hike. The up and coming CPI data report, which will show if inflation has dropped month over month. And actually another thing is the Federal Reserve talked about tightening their budget. This is something that you have to pay attention to because depending on how much they tighten their budget, this can cause the market to drop depending on how tight it is, right? Kind of just like during the pandemic, right? They injected a lot of money into the market. When they inject a lot of money into the market, the markets go up. When they begin to pull money out of the market, 
then guess what happens? The markets tend to go down. So it's it's good to understand those three different moving variables when it comes down to you know the overall market and what can cause it to go up or down. And that's really, I mean, all I'm really paying attention to as of right now with earnings pretty much being over, it's now up to the Federal Reserve and depending on what our expectations are and what it is that they actually announce that should cause this shift in the overall market. But if we look at QQQ based off of previous lows, we're definitely still not there yet. We could see that overall lows are at lows of 271 um, or 270, right? A little bit below 270. Uh, but right now we're at 294. So we still have room to drop. So please do not get ahead of yourself and think that, no, this is the bottom. No, I think it's pulled back enough that it's a good time to, be to begin to prepare, but not to think that this is the absolute bottom, right? We're never here to predict the future. That's impossible. We're only here to prepare for it. So if you guys have any questions, especially if you're an absolute beginner, I'd love to assist you any way that I can. Just send me a direct message via Discord. And that's that first link in the description down below. If you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, I trade live with them every single morning. And that's my Learn Plan Profit Group. They got to see me trade live today. It was a lot of fun. And they get to see me trade live every single day. So to click the second link down below, learn a little bit more about our Learn Plan Profit Group and see, and see if it's a good fit for you. And if so, then I can see you in my live trading session as soon as tomorrow. Hope that I earned a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.